We look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. St. Paul. Among early Christian communities, we find the roots of a tradition which continues today called mystagogia. Formed for new Christians entering their final stages of initiation into the church, mystagogia is a process of instruction meant to lead the newly baptized deeper into the mystery of Christ, helping them to proceed from the visible to the invisible from the sign to the things signified, from the sacraments to the mysteries. At the heart of mystagogia, we find our own innate impulse to search, prod, and dive deep into the mysteries all around us. For me, this impulse is manifested in my art making process. This always begins with an encounter a striking image engraved on a church wall or hanging in a museum, words from scripture or symbolism within the liturgy that resound in a new way, an unexpected conversation with a friend or a stranger that pierces my heart with joy, wonder, or sadness. When I'm open to receiving these moments, they become signposts pointing my heart to something deeper. But what is this something deeper? The investigation begins. I get out my sketchbook or any readily available piece of paper and draw. I sit with the encounter in prayer, contemplating its hidden mystery. I sketch over and over. The invisible reality begins to emerge from the visible reality that I'm exploring. Every mark made glaze painted, detail added or taken out, brings me nearer to the essence of the mystery at hand. All become tactile means of exploring the visible, outward mysteries of God and the seemingly ordinary moments of daily life. Some of the works on these walls were started months ago with various times of pause and return. Others were created feverishly within a matter of days. Ultimately, many of the works on these gallery walls feel unfinished to me and may always feel this way. Piercing the veil of mystery in the present moment is ongoing and ever widening to those with open hearts. As an artist and as a Christian, I feel that this lifelong process of mystagogia is a daily invitation into a transformation which is both exciting and terrifying because it is so mysterious. To live in mystagogia is a profound aspect of humanity which I'm grateful to be encountering. It is my prayer that others who view this work will be invited to enter this transformation in mystery to which we are all called.